This is the I Like That Story podcast, Season 2, Episode 2, The Hailed Out He-Man. Today's story brought to you by Evolution Consulting, nationwide image professionals for styling, speaking, and stage. As you are aware, I speak to groups throughout the country, and the group of people I was speaking to just last weekend were a group of young farm couples, and a nicer group of people you'll just never find. But there is no doubt that these nice people faced a really bad year in 2019. It was a tough one, really tough. Some operations were better off than others, which is the way it is, of course, with weather. You just never know. And some had some side hustles to help them through, hauling hay or custom field work. I did notice that the ones who had had the tougher years were closer as a couple. Proof again that suffering, although not any fun, does contain seeds of something positive. Like, for example, the story of the hailed-out He-Man. He's big, wide, powerful, like a, like a human ox. And his grandsons were big too, but nothing compared to him. One of the grandsons, plenty beefy himself, said he could put grandpa's wedding ring on a thumb and it would still twirl around his thumb like a hula hoop. That's how big his hands were. Big enough that the Chicago Bears stopped by his farm back in the day and asked if he'd ever consider playing football. Now, this was in the early 40s, a far cry from today, but still, They were looking for tough, strong guys, and he fit the bill. He was honest with them. Fellas, I haven't even held a football, and they were honest back. Don't worry, you won't be. (laughs) Anyway, he said no. He stuck with farming, and he was hailed out that first year. The second year, he was hailed out. And the third. The fourth year, he made it to a ripe and ready harvest in the field, a bumper crop. And that was hailed out to. The bank wouldn't give him any more chances, so flat-busted with a wife and five sons, he convinced a teacher at the Votech. He knew enough about machinery to let him get his diesel mechanics degree in one year instead of two, and the man who planned the farm spent the rest of his life grinding it out as a mechanic. His sons never farmed either. They became teachers and engineers and accountants and business owners, all successful, all close, all looking back at a dad that they deeply admired, a dad that had taught them how to succeed, which I guess is all any of us really want in the end, right? Kids that succeed. So if 2019 was rough and it didn't go according to your plan, hear what one of the sons said to one of the others, you know, How his life turned out wasn't Dad's plan, but it turned out to be a pretty good plan after all. So that's the show. If you want to get a free newsletter, one that features a good story and three horrible dad jokes, I send it out once a month. Shoot me a message on my website, ilikethatstory.net, and I'll make sure you get it. It's free. Until next time, I'm Jeff Gould. God bless. Thank you.